Hey, it's Jackie, and welcome back to my channel for another talk through makeup tutorial. Cherry Cola lips have been trending, and it's taking the tones of Cherry Cola, starting with a brown liner and then adding a deep red over top of the brown. The whole thing feels very Lana Del Rey coated, so I thought it would be fun to do an updated Lana inspired eye makeup look and then try out the viral lip combo. For skin, I've been loving the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. This is the shade Vienna. So I'm just playing with the makeup aesthetic today. I'm not trying to get the coloring accurate to look exactly like Lana. I have some redness from previous blemishes right here and it's done a really good job of covering that and I haven't even added concealer yet. Using the lightest shade in this palette, I'm really gonna brighten up these areas that I just placed. So my chin, by the jaw, especially underneath the eye and onto the cheek. A little goes a long way with this, so I'm just blending it in with my finger. Adding more dimension to my skin with a cream bronzer still from this palette. And from the cheekbone contour, you bring it down a little bit so you get that kind of model-esque look. I've been dying to try this blush. It's the Pillow Plush Blush by M Cosmetics in the shade Peanut. This is one of my favorite like everyday blushes and you bring it up from the contour we've just put down. I really like this peachy beige shade and a pop of matte color without it being too bold because the eyes and the lips are gonna be kind of bold. So I just want a little bit of color so it doesn't look unfinished. Now that we have all the cream products down, I'm using my favorite Floristus powder. We're gonna mattify. This one is brightening, it's a little bit purple. This powder is amazing. Like even if you use quite a bit, it'll still end up looking like skin. Let's do a Lana inspired nose. Her nose bridge starts wider and then tapers down, so I've done that as best as I can on my own nose. Fading above the tip, and then we're gonna do a line. I think that's as far as I'm gonna go with the Lana nose. It's a little unblended, but I think with the graphic eye, it will look good all together, but I might have to go in and blend more. I'll move on. I usually go with this Lawless Brow Pencil that I was just using on my nose, but I'm gonna go a little bit more retro and go with a classic pencil for my brows. This one's by Laura Geller and it's in medium brown. Her brows are strong, but not too, too thick, so I'm kind of playing mine down and give it a little bit more of a curve and extend it. I've been bringing my brow downward since I did the Margot Robbie tutorials because in the Barbie movie she had brow extensions and I think it really frames the face nice and is something pretty different from what we see a lot of the time with like the really short Ariana brow. That looks great too but if you don't have a face that that looks good on then this is another thing you might want to try. Or you might think it looks crazy, we'll see. Before jumping in to the classic 60s eye, I'm gonna add a little bit of a highlight from my favorite Charlotte Tilbury Spotlight Highlight. Mine is almost out. Let's see. Pick another one up. One of my most used products ever, clearly. Such a nice bouncy highlight. This is gonna be the nude option before we do the Cherry Cola Lips. This is BFF by ColourPop. Great shade. off this lip combo I took a bit of dandelion twinkle for benefit just patted it on the center to make it a little bit more frosty <laughs> it'll lisp there KVD super pomade this is a great white that's awesome for mixing we're gonna apply it all over the lid you can use this pomade anywhere I've mixed it into some of the highlights on my nose to brighten up especially right here and in my nose. Our cartilage is different. Probably won't look exactly like Lana, but it'll be cute. From the One Size Patrick Star Visionary Palette, I'm using Soft Serve. This is going to be the transition crease color. My favorite vintage looks enhance this portion of the eye. Kind of Marilyn Monroe or another look that's very similar to that is Sharon Tate but for this one the highest point is going to be here 
Now I'm gonna switch palettes. I'm gonna use this Victoria Beckham palette. I think this taupe will be perfect and I might use a little bit of the black. No silver, but these two and maybe the white. Slowly building up this crease, but it's not too, too harsh. Adding some darkness right in the inner corner as well. Planning out the wing, which we'll do with liquid liner because I'm no good at gel liner. You could use gel though. At least in the photo that I'm referencing, there's a bit of a space between the liner and the ending of that crease. This is a higher end palette, but it is great. I do grab for it a lot. One of my favorite eye makeup looks is to create a wing and then mirror the wing on the bottom lash line. We're gonna do this with liner again, but just so you can kind of see the look starting to get mapped out. I've never tried this Kaja liner, but I have loved most of their products that I have tried. So we're gonna give it a go. I'm a little scared because winged liner is not my forte. I have very shaky hands. Let's see. No, ugh, I gotta tilt it up more. I told you it's not my specialty. <laughs> These ColourPop gel liners are great and the white. The only problem with white eyeliner is sometimes it'll hit the lashes and then it'll make it look kind of crusty. So make sure you get that off before you put on mascara. Another Laura Geller product. This is a black coal eyeliner. This is huge. This is gonna be great for underneath the lash line. And I'm also going to deepen up the black that we've already put down. This makes it look a bit more like gel liner. You know what, I am gonna connect it as well. I just feel like that's more Lana. Let's curl the lashes. I'm gonna use a bit of mascara and then some falsies. Ooh, let's use this one. This one. Really make sure you get that bottom lash line. I'm out of outer corner lashes, but I have these Ardell Active Lashes that are super fluttery and I'm gonna trim them. Pushing the lashes down, you don't want them too fanned up, and lay the lash along the line. You can cheat it outwards a little further than your actual lash line. This glue smells funky, but it works. A hemp-infused adhesive eyeliner. Ugh, works really well. Doesn't irritate my eye or anything, but oh, that does not smell good. I guess the original duo kind of smells like fish, doesn't it? Okay, so here's the Lana Del Rey inspired makeup look. It's very baby doll and cute, and I have my hair pinned just as I was doing my makeup, but I got some headbands that I wanted to unbox because I think one of them has a black veil. So I think that would be really cool with this look. Let's try it. For this hair, I didn't have time to do perfect curls, so I'm more inspired by these pictures on screen, but I do want some volume. Let's unbox. These are luxury headbands. Let's see what's in here. Look at how pretty this is. That is so stunning. Here we are. I've been wanting a netted headband for so long, and I feel like they totally go with like a 60s vibe. Well, wearing that was fun. I kind of messed up my hair, so I guess I'm gonna go for a messier vibe and let's try out the Cherry Cola Lip Trend. All you'll need is a brown lip liner and you wanna go pretty deep with this. Then a viral lip product is the Hourglass Phantom Volumizing Glossy Balm in Lure. This is a deep berry. It looks super pretty on bare lips as well. You can go for more of a bold lip liner look, but I decided to fill mine in because I love the look of the brown mixed with the red. Also on screen is this beautiful art by Amy. I teased this look on Instagram and how cool is this? I had to share and I will have Amy linked down below as well. I like this lip combo. It's definitely the exact color of Cherry Cola. Ooh, this is actually good. Perfect for fall. Let me know what you think. This hair was not as I wanted initially, but 
that's what I get for playing around with headbands. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me turn the camera. It's completely dark out now. I forgot that it gets darker sooner, but I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me and trying out this Lana inspired eye that's super wearable, maybe not as wearable with the bold lip, but I am loving this lip combo. So let me know what you think below. And if you wanna keep on watching, you might like this other TikTok trend, which is the latte makeup look. That one's still holding on strong going into fall. Or if you like doll eye guys, you might like a previous anime inspired K-beauty tutorial. Hope you'll keep watching and I'll see you in my next video.